When COVID started, we declared an emergency here in Vernon, and it's been our goal to help the citizens of not just Vernon, the surrounding towns. We want to vaccinate as many people that want to be vaccinated, and we're doing that in a unique way. Yesterday, President Biden gave a speech about the COVID vaccination efforts that he's leading for the country, and he said something that we took to heart here, and that something was moving heaven and earth to get this vaccine into the arms of people who need it and want it and that are qualified to get it. Well, that's what we're doing here in Vernon. Since vaccinations began, Rockville Hospital has served as Vernon's primary vaccination center. Today, there were 115 appointments at Rockville Hospital, but as more people become eligible, that number will need to increase. We've seen uh, that demand far outpaces uh, available appointments in this region. That demand has led some people to search for vaccination locations. Attempting to fill that need, Vernon has added a single-day vaccination center. It will operate Friday at the Vernon Senior Center. We are doing our largest vaccination clinic that the town of Vernon has ever put on. We're vaccinating approximately 460 people today at this clinic using eight vaccinators. The entire town has worked together to make sure that we get everyone vaccinated. It's all hands on deck. We have volunteers from the community, doctors, nurses, dentists, um, that thankfully have stepped up to be part of this historic effort. Many people have come forward and said, I want to help. I'm a doctor. I'm a nurse. How can I help? We're putting them to work. Uh, we're training them here and then we're employing them in our clinics and having them get vaccine into people's arms. It's not enough to do clinics. Uh, we really need to get into the community and get this vaccine out to the people who need it. Here in Vernon, it launched its first ever mobile vaccination clinic right here at this church at St. Bernard's. Ruth Snyder tells Eyewitness News she expected to be vaccinated much later until this mobile COVID-19 vaccination clinic opened. I think people are worried. I think that, you know, they need to know they can go somewhere. Yeah. Vernon leaders are partnering with places of worship and congregate housing facilities to bring this unit throughout town for those eligible under phase 1B. And we're also learning that Vernon is working with other communities to help them launch their very own mobile COVID-19 vaccination clinic because together they know that more people will become eligible in the later months and they want to be ready for that demand. The message I got from, from town officials in Vernon was, you can do this and we'll be with you the whole way. We're on the phone every day with uh, other town leaders and just pulling together resources and working together. And if we didn't do that, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing today. It's a ray of hope that we have, that we can move people forward and we found a way to do it. And working together, whether it's in your own community or surrounding communities, in my opinion, is always the best thing that you can do. That type of regional collaboration, that type of meaningful relationship between communities is something that we all need to embrace and boost up as much as we can. I see in the notes here that you needed transportation. The town of Vernon opened this regional call center at Rockville Public Library after getting constant calls about the COVID-19 vaccine. Not everyone is is uh, on the same playing field technologically and to, to get into VAMS. Here they help people sign up for the vaccine and even get an Uber ride to their appointment. They would pick you up and bring you to the hospital for your 3.30 appointment. This all comes as more and more issues have popped up, things like language barriers, jammed phone lines, and especially for seniors trying to figure out how to navigate that online scheduling system. Not only are we taking calls, but the mayor has directed us to reach out to our congregate living facilities, to those areas in our town and beyond where we know there's people living 75 and older and making sure that word gets out. We're doing that in many ways. This morning, we've had our social services staff and our town employees reaching out to the seniors in our area, letting them know that we are here to help them navigate that system, get to the BAMS website and get them registered. And what makes this call center unique is that the folks working here can follow up with the person who calls in, making sure they get a ride to their appointment and helping them sign up for a second vaccine. They've done so much to break down the barriers in terms of enrollment for seniors through the, you know, the VAM system, the computer system, which is the most chronic complaint my office gets. You know, the town's figured this out, you know, in terms of actually taking calls and doing the registration for 
seniors who many of them don't even have phones and, and computers and, uh, and you can see the results here. The best and brightest scientists from all over the world participated in creating these vaccines. The safety profile is unbelievable. There's very few vaccines available right now that are 90 plus percent effective. And tonight, the town of Vernon is stepping up their vaccination efforts. Instead of waiting for people to reach out for an appointment, volunteers are doing the legwork. And now that the vaccine is available, we're, we're taking this uh, to the next step. So we set up a call center to take calls from residents. We just walking through, we have people from all over Connecticut. We're training people to give the vaccine. So we're using town employees to come in, they're volunteering to help, and they're stepping up uh, to the plate so we can get this life-saving vaccine out. Well, I just turned 78. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that uh, I had the opportunity to, to fit into getting the COVID vaccine. And how do you feel after getting the vaccine, sir. Feeling good? Good. I'm good so far. I, I, I've been nervous for uh, most of the year. But just having it is one one thing off of her shoulder. After I get it, I'll be I'll be considerably relieved, knowing that it's not the total picture, but it's the start. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. So Vernon went old school. And where did you get that vaccine? It's call center for appointments, a lifeline for 60-year-old Mace. I'm a dinosaur when it comes to the cell phone. Vernon holds up to 10 clinics a week, targeting the elderly and low income at places like this community center's food pantry. Neighbors Cheryl Galovich and Luz Nieto live two blocks away. Neither one of you have a car? No. Luz takes two buses to get to her grocery store cashier's job. How much do you worry about getting the virus? It's a scare because you didn't never know who is around you. Cheryl was hesitant about the vaccine. What changed your mind? The convenience. Easy when prevention is just around the corner. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Vernon, Connecticut. Here at ECHN, we are committed to uh, helping all of those that are eligible to receive the vaccine uh, get easy access to that from a variety of ways. And we know we can't do that alone. The partnerships are critical to the overall success of getting everyone in Connecticut who wants to receive vaccine vaccinated. Fortunately, um, Lieutenant Meyer through the town of Vernon notified Vernon Manor of the Vaccination Administration Management Systems Program, the VAMS program, uh, which was another opportunity for staff to be vaccinated ahead of the initial vaccine clinic at the facility. Together, we're working with the town of Vernon the local health department to create vaccine clinics throughout Vernon. People from our school personnel have been volunteering on the vaccine clinics. Together, we're gonna to make this happen. Getting our community vaccinated is gonna help us beat COVID-19. Now it's all a question about boosting supply because they have capacity to do more. There's no question. That's the, the message I heard loud and clear today, but we got to keep our foot on the gas pedal. It's a race between the vaccine and the virus and the vaccine has to win. And we have to make sure the vaccine wins soon. We're ready to ramp up. We're hoping to do upwards of five to 700 uh, per day and not just once a week. And we are ready to get them out to people as soon as, soon as possible. We don't want any doses sitting in our refrigerators while people are still getting infected. Since the beginning, Vernon has been a model for how to implement a successful vaccination program. They have done a ton of partnerships with community organizations and other towns. They've done a big public relations campaign to make sure everybody knows uh, about uh, where the clinics are happening. Um, you know, this is an example of how you do a successful locally based uh, vaccine distribution campaign. And so I, I wanted to come here to thank the leadership team, but also to thank all of the, the volunteers and staff who make this work. This has really been about partnerships. You know, we started with a partnership with our hospital system, Eastern Connecticut Health Network. Uh, where the town was able to staff uh, their clinics together with ECHN. We then started with our call center after we heard that people were having trouble booking appointments online. Uh, and then we've expanded to run our own town clinics. We've gone to different churches. Uh, we've gone to the Islamic Center in a neighboring community. And we've reached out across uh, a broad range of civic organizations to try to set up these, these clinics. This has been an amazing effort. We have partnered with the town of Vernon 
It's been a wonderful effort. As you can see, we have people, we have veterans coming in, getting their vaccines. This partnership today has been an incredible success for the people in this community who have been faced with so many different challenges over the last year. The Vernon town is great. I didn't hear any other town you know, arrange this kind of vaccination. It's really great that they gave us the opportunity and like, you know, so we can go out in our community and get our community vaccinated as well. There's a few times I can think back over my career that I can say I've been extremely proud of being a part of an organization. And when our leadership took the initiative to grab the vaccine and start to pump it out to the community, uh, we knew that took more than one person. It takes a team, and it, I'm very proud to be a part of it. This is the beginning of a, a real change for the community as we move forward in getting these vaccines. The town of Vernon launched a new campaign to bring vaccinations right to workplaces. The grassroots community vaccination program made a stop at Ryan's New York-style deli on the Hartford Turnpike. Folks, it doesn't get much easier than this. You get up, you go to work, you get your shot without any disruption or lost time to your workday, which is good for both the employee and the employer. Sanos y Protera sus vidas. Muchas gracias. And what that means is we consider you to be essential workers and you deserve this vaccine and we're very proud and happy to provide it to you today. Many of our vaccinators live right here in the community uh, of Vernon and want to give back. I got into law, law enforcement to be helpful and to serve the community and this is just a different way of doing it that ne never in a million years would I have thought as a police officer I'd be working in a vaccine clinic. But it kind of just continues on that same philosophy, just giving back to the community. We're making history here. This is, uh, this is going to be something I'm sure I would talk to my grandkids about. The response is unbelievable. They're, they're just so happy to get it done and not having to worry about getting online, signing up again. And the lady did say today, which made me happy, is my appointment's already made for the next one. Most of the people we deal with now are just so happy to get this. And if you see some of them, they come in here, as soon as you give them the first shot, they actually have tears in their eyes because they're, they're tired of this. They see a light at the end of the tunnel and they want this done. I've been to a number of the clinics and I hear over and over again, wow, this is really easy. Um, I didn't have to wait in line for very long. It is important, well, that way we can help the town so we can accomplish the, you know, the, the, the desire that we want for people to get protected and be helped. People have wanted to hug us and uh, you know, we've had to stop them, so we have relief and happiness. Oh, it's wonderful. Everybody's so nice, so accommodating. It's a beautiful place and it feels good. It didn't hurt at all. Well, having two very rare genetic issues plus heart issues, it was really um, important. I'm just elated. I am just so relieved and it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. Oh, I feel so good, so happy to get my vaccine today. I couldn't wait for it actually and, and I'm glad that we finally got it done. Given the fact that no one expected this, any of it, I'm just blessed and there are people still waiting and I hope they get there. So I'm just blessed to have mine. Anything like this uh, takes a lot of the pressure, anxiety, and fear uh, away. It's good to have the vaccination and at least, you know, like you feel like you are safe now. It was uh, a miracle when she said that we can get it so quick I was because I was getting worried. Just a big sense of relief, really, that this is finally something that they can get done and they can feel safe again. Feeling safe and enjoying life's blessings are what some who were vaccinated today are looking forward to. I miss the hugs. I have 15 grandchildren and I haven't been able to hug any of them. It's so nice to be able to talk to them. So many of them have been isolated in their homes for so long that they're so excited to see someone. Definitely feeling a heck of a lot better because we've been pretty much isolated for the last almost, well, the last 11 months or so. This is our first step in getting back to some normalcy and getting these people back uh, enjoying activities in the community. Every day that goes by that we're not able to get the vaccine, we're not able to save a life. So that's why we've made this a top priority for the town, the school system, uh, and our local health department. One of our main jobs as, as politicians, as, as, as a government, is public safety, and we feel that this is this is uh, what we're doing. We're gonna we're gonna help as many people as we can get this vaccine.